Welcome back to Fast Money. We've got an earnings alert on SoFi shares. The fintech firm are on the move in the after hours, down sharply. Look at that 11%. Let's get over to Kate Rogers. She's got the breakdown on the company's latest quarter. Hey, Kate. Hey, Court, that call is still underway, but this is SoFi's first report as a public company. The fintech company reporting a loss of 48 cents, but that loss included significant one-time charges related to its going public via SPAC merger. Now, revenues came in at $231 million for the quarter. This is SoFi's eighth consecutive quarter. The company says of accelerated growth in its membership up 113% year-on-year to 2.6 million members. Total products up 123% year-over-year. Galileo, the payments platform, business nearly doubled accounts. On the call, CEO Anthony Noto said financial services segment products, this includes SoFi Money, SoFi Invest, SoFi Credit Card, were nearly three times the number of its lending products. This is an inflection point as a year ago they were about nearly equal, he said. Growth in student loans drove largely the 14% year-over-year increase in lending segment products. Technology platform accounts increased 119% to nearly $79 million. That's thanks to existing client growth and new client acquisition by Galileo. Management reiterating its full-year 2021 guidance of adjusted net revenue of $980 million and adjusted EBITDA of $27 million. The stock, though, Courtney, as you mentioned, down more than 10%. Back over to you. Yeah, it sure is. Thank you very much, Kate. All right, let's trade. So far, Dan Nathan, I'm going to you. What was most disappointing to you here in this report? First report as a public company, as Kate points yeah, out. Yeah, I mean, you, you never like to see a disappointing guy uh, right out of the gate here. And we're seeing that a lot of these companies that went public through SPAC. And we know that some of the disclosures prior to the, the SPAC mergers, you know, they're a little different than, than the traditional IPO fashion. Listen, I started buying this stock higher than where it closed today. It's obviously down 10%, but it did just rally from about $15. So expectations were not low. I just think with like a 15 billion dollar enterprise value when you see the mix shift of what they were talking about versus lending and financial products and some of these other products as it relates to so find money and such that's what i want to see so i just think that you know these guys um they call themselves a technology company i think they're going to make inroads um in the financial services space and i think it's likely to be um a, a, i think it's going to be Take it out at some point, I don't know when, at some point in the future, I think one of these big money center banks that are going to need to do some of the things in the demographic that SoFi is doing it, and maybe Anthony Noto, the CEO of this company, becomes the heir apparent of a big money center bank as they look to transform their business in the next few years. Hmm, that's an interesting prediction. Bonowin, does that make you more interested in the stock? You'll get it on sale if you buy it here. <laughs> you certainly will. From a technical standpoint, it has bounced off of that $15 or so intermediate um, technical support. So I, I think that is kind of like the place to look in terms of playing it from the long side. You know, if you look at the consumer, right, I, I think there are some things to like about this company. Savings rates are higher than they've been in recent past. And so that speaks to the type of credit quality of loan that they'll be able to um, create and then sell off. The one thing that I would keep my eye on, in addition to the other things that Dan mentioned, is this payment for order flow. If we continue to see regular, or sorry, if we start to see regulation around that, and we start to poke that bear, I think that may be a, you know a downside risk. Now, when I compare that vis-a-vis -vis to like a Robinhood, for example, I do expect the the negative. Um, uh, uh, the, the negative situation to be more muted there, but that is a potential pain point for the shares. Got it. We're going to keep watching those shares down less than 10% now, but still not looking pretty.